There's a lot of water on planet Earth. In fact, 71% of our home is covered in it. But you might be surprised to learn that the vast majority of the deep remains undiscovered. Pitch black darkness and crushing pressure at the deepest parts of the ocean means that many of these regions remain inhospitable to humans. The oceans are home to some of the most terrifyingly deadly creatures known to man. You just never know what's staring up at you from the depths, licking its lips while you take a relaxing summer dip. Ready to meet the deadliest creatures of the deep? Let's get it on! Green Anaconda Snakes are creepy as it is, but South America's green anaconda is the largest snake in the world. Measuring as long as a school bus and weighing up to 550 pounds, this is one monster of the deep you don't want to take a swim with. On land, the green anaconda is slow and cumbersome. Most animals can outrun the giant slithering reptile with relative ease, but in the swamps, rivers, and streams of the Amazon basin, this silent hunter becomes a sleek, ruthless hunter. Its favorite pastime includes wading almost completely submerged, body coiled and ready to strike the second an unsuspecting animal stops at the river for a drink. It's not the bite that does the damage, though. Green anacondas are actually non-venomous constrictors, meaning they coil their prey with their muscular bodies until the unfortunate victim asphyxiates. The fun doesn't end there. After the suffocating bear hug, anacondas use their stretchy jaws to swallow their meal whole. Everything from wild pigs, deer, turtles, and even jaguars. Box Jellyfish if you need another reason to never visit Australia, the warmer waters of the Pacific are home to the Australian box jellyfish, considered to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. The deadly invertebrate gets its name from its box-shaped body and its reputation from the long, poison-loaded tentacles that stretch out up to 10 feet behind the creature. Coating the tentacles are millions of explosive cells called cnidocytes, which on contact release microscopic darts that inject an extremely powerful venom into the unfortunate victim. Aside from the excruciating intense burning pain. A box jellyfish sting can cause paralysis, cardiac arrest, and even death within as little as two minutes. Experts estimate that up to 100 people a year are killed by box jellyfish, with 40 being in the Philippines alone. Oh, and don't think you can outswim them either. Jellyfish can swim at speeds approaching four knots, faster than the fastest Olympic swimmer of all time. Bull Shark while the Great White holds the title of the biggest shark to patrol the ocean, the bull shark easily comes out on top when it comes to strength and aggression. The bull shark gets its name from their blunt snout and their tendency to headbutt their prey before attacking. Preferring to hunt solo, bull sharks can be found in all the coastal waters of the world. Aside from their ferocious temper, bull sharks are feared due to their tolerance to both salt and fresh water. In fact, bull sharks have been discovered halfway up the Amazon and Mississippi rivers looking for their next snack. They've got an impressive kill count too. Bull sharks have claimed at least 27 lives in over 800 recorded attacks since 1580. 2015 was their best year so far, with 98 attacks, 33 of which were on the US's east coast alone. Lionfish Majestic as she is deadly, the lionfish, also known as the devil firefish, is an invasive carnivorous fish species found in the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. You wouldn't think something so beautiful could be so deadly, but this aquarium favorite rules supreme with no known predators in the entire ocean. Even sharks take one look at the lionfish and swim in the opposite direction. So what could make even the king of the ocean run scared? The lionfish has a mane of dorsal spines that are loaded with poison like a hypodermic needle. When a spine puncture the skin, a powerful neuromuscular toxin cocktail is injected into the poor victim, causing extreme pain, sweating, respiratory distress, and even paralysis. Definitely a fish for the look but don't touch category. Arapaima when traveling through dangerous neighborhoods, it's always best to bring some protection. Take the piranha-infested waters of Brazil, Guyana, and Peru, for example. Any exposed flesh left out too long becomes a feeding frenzy with thousands of tiny carnivorous fish wanting a taste. For the South American freshwater arapaima fish, they've developed an innovative solution to combat the piranha threat. The arapaima's scales are coated with a hard, mineralized outer layer, effectively giving this huge fish a puncture-proof suit of armor. With males reaching up to 15 feet long, Long and weighing 440 pounds, the arapaima is famous for its lack of fear and aggression, even amongst members of its own species. Despite mainly surviving on a diet of fish, the arapaima is known to leap out of the water to grab big birds, lizards, and even small primates from low-hanging trees. There are even stories of arapaimas leaping out of the water, knocking fishermen into the water to be finished off by the carnivorous fish below. Great White Shark 
undoubtedly the king of the oceans. The great white shark has been roaming the seas for around 18 million years, virtually unchanged over the whole time. It makes sense. Who needs to evolve when you're such an efficient killer? Growing up to 15 feet long, the great white shark is 5,000 pounds of pure teeth and muscle. Streamlined and powerful, these torpedo-shaped carnivores can swim at speeds of up to 15 miles per hour, even known to breach the water like whales do when attacking their prey from underneath. Equipped with a killer sense of smell, great whites can detect a single drop of blood in the ocean up to three miles away. The last thing you'll see is a great white shark taking a big bite as rows and rows of serrated, triangular teeth, around 300 at any one time. But there's some good news. We apparently taste terrible, and great white sharks generally spit out any limbs they bite off. Despite this, great whites have killed at least 80 people since records began in 1980. Puffer fish. How do you like your fish? Grilled, deep fried, or inflated? It may look cute, but when threatened, the spiky puffer fish can rapidly inflate itself up to three times its original size, turning this bite-sized morsel into a prickly beach ball. But that's the least of any attacker's worries. The puffer fish has organs coated in tetrodotoxin, a poison that's 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. With enough poison to kill 30 adults, most predators that snack on the puffer fish quickly succumb to its poison. People who receive a tetrodotoxin dose experience one of the most terrifying deaths known to man. The poison causes whole body paralysis while the victim remains conscious. Think sleep paralysis, but you end up dying at the end. Eventually, weakness of the respiratory tract causes suffocation while you lie there helplessly. Sounds fun? Well, if playing Russian roulette with your dinner is your thing, head over to Japan. Specially trained chefs carefully prepare puffer fish in a delicacy called fugu. They've spent years training to cut around the poison, but one wrong slip of the knife and this meal could be your last. Sea snakes. If you have a crippling phobia of snakes and thought a trip to the beach would be a safe bet, oh, think again. Found in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Ocean, 52 different species of sea snakes have been documented so far, all of them venomous. Close cousins to the cobras, sea snakes differ slightly from their nearest relative. Firstly, they can't travel on land after losing the ability several million years ago. Secondly, their venom is way more potent. A powerful neurotoxin works fast to paralyze the respiratory system, causing rapid suffocation and eventually death. Sea snakes don't just hang around coastlines either. They've been spotted up rivers and more than 100 miles out from shore. Luckily, a sea snake's fangs struggle to pierce through a wetsuit, but if you notice blurry vision, muscle weakness, excessive saliva production, and vomiting, you may want to get to a hospital. And fast. Piranhas. Imagine a ferocious swarm of bloodthirsty vampire fish, hell-bent on stripping every bit of meat off your skeleton. Okay, so maybe Hollywood exaggerated a little when putting these tiny terrors on the big screen. When the waters are cooler and it's not mating season, piranhas are actually quite shy and only bite as a warning to scare off predators. However, in the warmer months, piranhas, excited at the prospect of reproducing, can get quite aggressive. They're attracted by the sounds of splashing and will launch a frenzied attack on much larger animals that fall into the water. While we're not sure if piranhas have ever killed a human, they certainly do attack. In December 2013, a massive piranha attack in the Paraná River in Argentina left 70 swimmers with flesh torn from their legs. I think I'll stick to my backyard pool, thanks. Portuguese Man o' War Looking like a cross between an alien brain and a blue Rastafarian plastic bag, the Portuguese man o' war floats harmlessly on the ocean's surface. But under the water, the real danger lies. At first glance, you might think the Portuguese man o' war is a jellyfish with its long blue tentacles dangling below. But this creature is actually a siphonophore, a colony of thousands of smaller, genetically identical individual creatures that all cooperate to travel and catch food. Each of these creatures perform a specific function, gonozoids for reproducing gastrozoids for digestion, and the poisonous dactylozoid tentacles for defense and hunting. Coated in venom-filled nematosis, a sting from a Portuguese man-o-war is enough to paralyze small fish, birds, and reptiles. People are frequent victims of the venomous sting, even days after the man-o-war has been washed up on shore. A man-o-war sting is immediately followed by intense pain and a reaction that mimics an allergic reaction including cardiac distress, fever, shock, and sometimes even death. 